Hi, I am Greg Enholm. I will be demonstrating the basic max level of the Enholm multiply add cross method for factoring trinomials. If you want a slower pace with more explanation, search for basic max and watch that video first. Let's get going. We start with the quadratic expression here, a times x squared plus bx plus c. What you do with basic max is you start by creating four areas by marking the cross or x. You then place the multiplication symbol in the top area and the, the addition symbol in the bottom area. We multiply a times c to fill in the top area. Since a is 1, it'll just be c, 24. Then we bring down the b to the lower area, which becomes 14. Now we must create the side factors, where you multiply 1 times 24, and always start with 1 here, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. Well, at this point, if you want to be very thorough, you say 1 plus 24 does not equal 14. 2 plus 12, whoops, we're done. So you circle the 2, you circle the 12, indicating that they give 14. At this point, you basically have the answer. You have x plus 2 times x plus 12. Now, if you want to check, the way that you would check is to use FOIL. FOIL allows you to multiply binomials, which is what we have here, F-O-I-L. The first here is x times x, or x squared. The outer is x times 12, or 12x. The inner is 2x and the last is 24. Now we know that 12x plus 2x is 14x. So this is identical to what we started with and we have checked our answer.
I thought we were going to be able to factor this trinomial. Well, Max can factor all trinomials which can be factored. It's very important to realize is not all trinomials can be factored. And here is where Max is really strong. In this situation, we can use the Max framework to prove that this polynomial is not factorable or a prime polynomial. A prime polynomial is like a prime number. A prime number, like 7, can only be divided by 1 and itself, 7. That's true of a prime polynomial also. A prime polynomial can only be divided by itself and the polynomial. So how can we show that using the Max framework? Well, over here, we can show that if you take negative 1 plus negative 16, you get negative 17, which is not equal to negative 14. So we've shown our first set of factors doesn't work. Negative 2 minus negative 8, that's negative 10, which does not equal negative 14. And our last set, negative 4, negative 4, does not equal negative 14. Now if you want to be thorough about this, you can say that 1 plus 16 doesn't equal negative 14, but that's not even a negative number, so that's not even close. So if we just stick with the negatives, we don't get there. So what you write is not factorable and or prime polynomial. So you can see that max not only works when you're actually factoring something which is factorable, max also works when you are factoring something which turns out not to be factorable and you can prove it. That's a complete introduction to basic max. Search the internet for future videos for intermediate max and advanced max.